Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all kind of crashes and errors and enjoy in your system. And this video is going to be really interesting guys. So just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, let's start with the verify the game files. So open your steam account find your game right click on your game go to properties and in the installed file options you need to click on verify integrity of game files. So guys in case your game files are missing or corrupted then this step will fix your issue. It will take some time and uh, once the verification is complete then launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not. And the next thing guys is we need to update our graphics driver so open your geforce experience and uh, for nvidia user first you need to go to the driver section here and simply click on check for updates it will take some time so don't be panic and uh, it will download and install the latest drivers in your system and for amd user guys you can do the same step in your redon software after that guys the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and visual retribution files in our system so what we're gonna do is visit the official website of DirectX and download the latest DirectX in your system so here is the setup accept the agreement click to next install the bing bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it maybe it takes some time so don't panic and just after a few minutes It's done. Now click to finish, get back and now move to the visual retribution folder. So open the folder and download and visit the official website of visual retribution and download all visual files in your system. So here is the batch file, run this batch file and it will automatically uh, install all the visual files in your system. And uh, you, you just need to click to yes and click to ok and rather of these steps it will automatically perform. So guys. Uh, if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and uh, apply the same steps you see on the screen. Follow my lead. So guys, just after a few minutes. It's done. Now the pack steps are complete guys and now move to the next step and now we need to free our cpu memory from the task manager so open your task manager and first we need to check your cpu memory from the performance section here and now we need to find these kind of application or programs that takes our cpu memory because sometimes due to heavy load on our game um, the game crashes and you face different kind of errors so we need to find some kind of application that takes our cpu memory so simply right click on that kind of application and end task it and once your cpu memory is free then we launch your game and check your problem is resolved or not and uh, the next thing guys is we need to do is we need to close some background applications so go to research bar and in, in here you need to type settings and here we need to go to the privacy section and uh, now you see in general there are four options turn off all of them down below go to your background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background my background apps are already turned off so get back and now move to the gaming section here and now here we need to uh, turn off the game bar option capture setting turn it off and only enable your game mode especially if you play your game on your low end pc and once it's done the next thing is we need to remove the junk files in our system so for this we need to press window key plus r and in here we need to use some commands like the first one is prefetch p-r-e-f-e-t-c-h so first one press ok click to continue Control a select all and delete all of these bad files in our system skip the step and uh, again press window key plus r and this time use the second command like percentage temp percentage press ok press ok control a select all and delete all these bad files in your systems so guys don't worry these all are like jungle unnecessary files so simply delete these files and it will all also gives you the free storage in your drive and once you delete these files from here you need to remove these files also from the recycle bin 
that's it now guys after that the next thing is we need to adjust in game settings so for this you need to right click on your game.exe file go to properties go to compatibility tab and in here you need to check the mark option like one has administrator and uh, you can also try the different compatibility modes like window 8 window 7 and disable full screen optimization also mark this setting click apply and click ok and the next thing guys is the antivirus and firewall exceptions so add your game.exe file to your antivirus whitelist in windows security go to virus and threat protection allow an app through control folder access and add your game here and uh, after that guys in firewall allow an app and add your game and uh, after that guys the next thing is we need to update steam so open steam a uh, right click top left check for steam client updates and install the latest updates for your steam and the last thing guys is the force dedicated gpu usage open graphic settings go to windows support click browse and add your game.exe file usually in steams uh, stream apps common game binaries and win64 and uh, after adding your game set to the high performance and that's it guys i hope by applying these steps you will be able to launch your game properly and now you can play your game without any lag freezing and any kind of crash and uh, if you found this video helpful guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out